W, a.k.a. W is War from 1983. So stop me if you've heard this before. This is a movie about a cop. He kills a gang member. Then the gang castrates him. Then he steals their drugs. Then they kidnap some kids. And then they attack the compound for, where the kids are thing. Theme song. If you want to watch W, a.k.a. W is War, well, search for it on YouTube. It's not anywhere legally. As my intro was meant to explain, this movie is wild. So first of all, let's start with the name. W. Well, that's kind of the name of the hero. His name is W2. He's a cop. And all his fellow cops have letters and numbers for names. Sergeant W2, R2... D3, Hello. B9, and V1. Hi. That's never explained. All what's What else is wild about it? Well, all the bad guys drive three-wheeled three motorcycles around. They all look like they belong in Mad Max. And I guess they thought that too, since the sequel has a, is a Mad Max ripoff that you may be seeing a review from soon. The editing is crazy. Their entire scenes that drag on and on and on. Then, this actually happens before he gets castrated, I believe. There's the hero gets married to his girl. And it's shot, bizarrely. I'm not sure, like, is this supposed to be real or a dream? So they, they're, and then they do a long shot of the church. And the quality of the shot is pretty bad. I'm sure it's copied poorly from VHS. But... This looks like the church is empty. There's like nobody there, not even the bride and groom, right? The first half of the movie really seems like it's more interested in the cop because it's about, you know, his relationship. It's like, oh, let's get married. And the, and the fiance is like, no, you have to stop being a cop. And then they get married and then he gets castrated. <laughs> And there's a crazy scene where she is uh, getting in touch with herself in the shower and he sees it and he starts crying. And then later on, she cheats on him with his friend. But then the second half is more about the gang. And we get a great long action scene. But even though we see a scene of W2 building a battle wagon and it's not a battle truck or a VW Beetle like in battle truck. The cops or the military just sort of show up. But W and his accomplice do wear these cool helmets. Look like they could be from that old uh, King of the Rocket Men serial. But even during the attack on the base, we see some like poor editing and poor establishing shots because there's a point where it looks like they're at the base of a cliff and then they just, but they're like 10 feet away from anything and they just throw their grappling hooks in the air and start climbing a rope. And it's like, what the heck? Like, oh, you see, there's actually like a, they're actually below a deck. You, you maybe you should have shown that in an establishing shot. And it is impressive. It's low budget as it is how many people they gathered to just shoot down. Maybe it's the same 10 people over and over and over, but it's a lot. The bodies do stack up. It is sometimes hard to follow because of this sort of haphazard editing, 
But to be fair, the film itself doesn't even really seem that interested in the storyline because early on, the big the big boss tells the main boss, like, we want you to have the world's largest marijuana operation. Your place has been chosen by the underworld organization to be the biggest marijuana plantation in the whole of Asia. But then later on, they're selling opium or heroin or something else. I must tell you, as Pharaoh and his men are expecting an opium shipment. I mean, I guess they could be diversifying. Hey, that's good business sense, but it's confusing. It, it's a wild movie. It's not perfect. It gets boring at parts. It's like I said, it's hard to keep track of. But despite that, I'm giving W, a.k.a. W is war, four thumbs up. He killed a bad guy, so they took his testicles. The cycle of pain!